What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the beginner guide for people that are just entering Vegas Pro 16 because today's video was actually planned on how to motion track image and text and everything. But for some weird reason, there's a script missing in my editing software. So Magix and I are just, you know, uh, trying to fix that. But for today's video, we're gonna see what the basics are for everybody that is new to Vegas and doesn't really know where to start. So the video about the motion tracking will come very very soon so make sure to stay tuned for that and I will see you guys obviously right after the intro okay now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, I'm gonna explain the basics to everybody that is new in this software. So this program released at the end of August, a little over a week ago, and there are tons and tons of new features in this program. So for everybody that is already familiar with this program, uh, you can keep watching. Obviously, there are gonna be some things that you find useful. Make sure to keep watching, even though if you already know the program. Okay, so as you can see, my also my face cam quality isn't too, uh, too great because I'm using my webcam because my camera my Canon G7X this guy is giving tons of errors with the memory card but I'll, that'll be fixed tomorrow okay so we're gonna start off with the basics if you want to start editing videos um, what you need to do is you need to understand the interface so right here we have the preview screen where you will see your video when you're playing it back right here you have the timeline and this is basically where you're gonna cut where you're gonna add in the effects everything like that and in order to make uh, videos, you need audio tracks and video tracks. So in this part, in this zone, you can right click and you can click on insert video track and you can also right click and insert audio track. Now, if you don't see these icons that you want, you want to click on these three stripes, click on edit visible button set, show all, do that for also the audio track, show all, boom, and also below the preview screen, show all, and now the icons are all back that you guys need. Right here we have the project media tab, and that's basically where all your files are gonna be located that you dragged in in this program. The explorer tab is basically if you need to import another clip, you can just go ahead and click on your images or your videos, and you can drag in videos, uh, photos, everything like that. Right here we have the transitions tab, and this is basically Basically, if you have a scene and you want to, you know, cut to another scene and you want to have a nice transition, everything can be found right here. They added tons of new ones, as you can see, and the options are endless. I want to mention that all the new blue ones are plugins that you need to install at install externally so they do not come with a Vegas Pro and that also counts for the S underscore and then these transitions but all the other ones like the page loop and at the bottom you know the slide this you know the split squeeze star wipe swap everything is standard in Vegas Pro you just need to simply drag that on the clip and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in just a minute right here we have the video effects tab so let's say that you want to brighten up your video because it's too dark you can just go ahead and scroll down until you see the brightness and contrast right here and then you can just basically drag on all the filters that you need and like i've mentioned as well these bcc ones do are also plugins that do not come with a vegas pro and the same for these new blue ones so the last tab that we have right here is media generator so let's say that you want to overlay text on your video or like checkerboards or like you know how, how what, is it, what is it called the um the end scrolls or the credits and everything that can be found in a media generators tab so if you scroll down as you can see we have solid colors if you want to have an image that is uh, a specific color you can find that here the test pattern is basically these bars uh, that you can also import right here we have titles and text we have the default one you can drag that on and also the uh, text ones that are also also animated for you okay so we're going to start off by just editing in a really basic video so we're going to go to the project media tab and right here as you can see we have nothing in this box because we're going to drag in a clip that we are going to use okay so as you can see i dragged in this clip and that is immediately listed at the top. So, and that also, you know, appears on our timeline. That's very obvious. Let's say that you want to cut in your videos that you want to have this piece cut out. What you want to do is press S on your keyboard like that. Then you want to click right here, for example, press S again. And now this part is loose and you can move that or you can press delete. And then as you can see, you can place this guy to each other. And that's how you basically cut in videos like that. 
as you can see. So that's how it works. The Explorer tab is basically, like I've mentioned, you, if you want to import clips, the transitions, let's say that you want to have a nice slide transition onto the next one. What you want to do is you want to drag this guy over it until you see this crossfade. Then you can apply your transition on it, for example, this slide to the, to the left. If you drag that onto the transition, if you play it back, as you can see, it makes a nice transition to the next clip like that. You can also drag in other transitions on top of it. It will just replace it really simple and then they come in from the top as you can see. They just come in real slow as you can see from the top. That's really, really simple. And if you go to the video effects tab, for example, if you want to brighten up your video, you can go to brightness and contrast, pick the default eye, drag that on top of your clip. And then we have three bars you can mess with, for, for example, the brightness, you can bring that up as you can see the clip will become really, really bright. If you put that down, it will just basically look like this. And that's the same for the contrast. If you drag that in, as you can see, the contrast will also also increase so if you want to go ahead and also add in color correction for example like this guy drag on the default one and then we have three like panels that you can mess with so let's say that you have your white balance is really off you can want to add in a little bit more red for example you can just drag this guy to the red zone and that applies straight to the video right here you can also apply a little bit more blue to it and for example like green and that is how you can also spice up your videos fix your videos if the white balance is really off and that's really really simple how you can do that now in order to actually edit your videos what you can do is you need to also export these you know in order to have everything else that you edited into one file so what you want to do is you go and go ahead and hold your left mouse button and you want to select everything in your timeline that you want to render out then you want to click on file click on render as and then basically you want to choose your format. Do you want to have 720p, 1080p or even 4K? So the best option for me uh, and that also I think that counts for you is Sony AVC MVC that's just MP4 and if you click on there we have internet 1920 by 1080 30p and if you want to know how to render in 60 fps I will leave the link to the video how to render your videos or the best render settings in general of Vegas Pro 16 in the description so you can find it right there and that's basically how to do it right here it is a folder so you can just click on browse and then you can choose the location of your rendered file and right here it says name for example you can you can type in rendered video and if you click on render as you can see it now starts rendering and that is basically the basics of Vegas Pro 16 under 10 minutes and if you guys like this video I'm just gonna cancel this real quick if you guys like this video make sure to drop a like down below and I also apologize that the video about how to motion track text and images did not come today because the script was not in my version so I'll fix that tomorrow obviously so I'll catch you guys in a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial obviously tomorrow. <laughs>